Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Episode. That's English. That's English, dude. So yeah. Good back and welcome back to. Good back and welcome back. Fuck me. Good morning and welcome back to another episode where we're gonna finish up or try to get a little more done on Calvin's PRZ today. But before we even get into that. It's just, it's time for one of these. When we had the Hun Company drop maybe two and a half weeks ago, a lot of the products went so fast that no one really got a piece of it, and I'm sorry for that. One of the designs that we were supposed to have launched for that drop that didn't go through, we actually redid and are gonna do a mini launch. I'm not exactly sure as to when they're gonna go live, but we're gonna do a drop with them in maybe about a week and a half or so. It's one design we have on a sweatshirt and a t-shirt, but we have larger supply this time. We're gonna have 500 shirts, 250 sweatshirts, I'm wearing one of the new sweatshirts right now. Hey, Cal, feel, can you feel my back a little bit, mate? Get my backside. Get my, get my, oh, man. Calvin's lady, Emily, she's the design, so shout out to Emily. And we also have this in a white t-shirt as well. How cool is that design? I'm so hyped on this. So we have 500 t-shirts, 250 sweatshirts. If you guys want the most recent updates with when the drop is gonna happen, follow the Instagram account. This is my... Favorite design we've ever done, for sure. So yesterday was dust. Yesterday was Kevin's birthday, now today it's Dustin's birthday, and we're gonna do another surprise dinner tonight with Dustin. That of course is about 45 minutes up north and it's gonna be dead stop traffic. So we actually only have about four hours at the shop as of right now, so we have to do a lot of work in a very short amount of time. So we're gonna do the best we can to get as much done as possible. I'll see you later, okay? I need, yeah, yeah, it's a bye. Uh, I actually have to leave now. What? what? It's Emily. What? Okay, while you go pick up Emily from school, I'm gonna cut the f Shut up, man! The helicopters are so loud! There's no energetic to this, because I'm worried. My face is worried. When I'm worried, I'm worried. I'm not gonna fake it, because the next step is to weld, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, Evan's concern is that when I go to weld it, it's just gonna melt. It's gonna disappear, and I'm fucked. I'm gonna go ahead, push the car forward to the welder, and see what I can do. If it melts, it melts. If it doesn't, we're in business. Why am I concerned? Because if it melts, then I'll run out of material. And but why are you concerned that it's gonna melt? Because now that we're TIG welding, and I don't, I don't have this concern, but I'm ignorant. So now that we're TIG welding, it's a different story than MIG welding. MIG welding, you have material and heat at the same time. TIG welding, you have heat. And that's it. And then you add material with your left hand. Completely different process. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna go, what's gonna, what I'm going to do. So, to say the least, I, I need to figure it out. Do you know how to TIG weld, Mickey? No. Great. Well, you're in luck, boys, because I know how to TIG weld. So, if you yeah, can't figure it out, right, I'll dude. happily take charge. He himself twice, and now he's like, I don't wanna touch it anymore. My pussy hurts. I don't know why you just gotta out me like that in the video. Calvi has had to out me in front of everyone like Twice. that. Like, think. You shocked yourself. I don't. You First time you're like, I'm never gonna do it again. This is that certain part in the video where we let you, the viewer, the audience know that what you're about to see is untested, it's uncharted. We don't know what we're doing. Calvin, for the most part, doesn't know what he's doing. God knows he won't let me touch the welder on his car. So this is me letting you know that he does not know what he's doing and do not follow what he's about to do on your car because odds are it will probably catch flame and burn to the ground. Oh, that's so, a good point, T. Letting you guys know that. That's a good point, don't do that. It's kind of working. It's ex 
accepting the weld. I'm trying to figure out how to put the welder and I'm figuring out how the filler rod is reacting. So now I'm gonna actually try and put two pieces together. I was just testing out a seam to see the temperature, but it's kind of working. Something that Calvin is doing right now that I found out during my process of why buying my car that was very important is to make sure that before you weld the surfaces, you need to make sure that it is very clean and that there is no paint or leftover residue because it has a very difficult time sticking. And I think that's what Calvin's running into right now is he's having a kind of a difficult time getting everything to stick. And especially with the added technicalities of TIG welding, that's one step that needs to be very thorough and done correctly. Nice, T. It's been, I have no idea. It's I'm been like, my head's been in here just trying to figure it's been this like out. It's like an hour and a half. Hour and a half? Since I've last picked up the Holy camera. fuck. I've only accomplished two flaps in an hour? Yeah. Exactly what I was saying. I have no idea what's going on. So, what I'm realizing is this material is very thin and doesn't like to hold heat well. It did exactly as Beckerman thought. It would just cave in and melt away. So what I'm doing is I'm welding on like a little bit, a booger on each side and then heating up those boogers to weld together so that they hold together instead of disappear on me. From here, I basically, you could see where I put the boogers. So the boogers are there and then I'm gonna grind away the boogers to make it look nice. I was told to, to braze this material, but we have no bronze rod, so. I'm doing what I gotta do. While I'm bored out of my mind and Calvin is doing some welding, just found one of these old I eat ass stickers and while Evan is inside not paying attention, I decided I needed to put one on his car while he wasn't looking. Sometimes you just gotta get blessed by the I eat ass sticker. Some people think it's an insult but it's really a compliment. You wanna put it in a place that's visible to the people behind you but not to the driver. Probably a couple days from now I'll get an angry phone call from Evan. Looking good. So before we go to dinner tonight, I'm gonna open this package that I just got. Now recently, I've actually kept this kind of off social media, but recently I've been going back to the gym. It's something that I've missed a lot, and now that I'm playing hockey two times a week and I'm actually getting back into like moving my body like I used to, I've really enjoyed like getting exercise and I felt a lot better like with stress and anxiety. Like I forgot how good exercising is. So I've been getting back into the gym. I'm friends with a lot of like athletic YouTubers, I and mean, I always see them promote this ghost. Everyone's always promoting Ghost. This isn't a paid thing, I'm not affiliated with them, but I'd like to be Ghost hit me up. Now I take two proteins. I take a normal this protein supplement that I'll take like midday or right after a workout, and I also take a weight gainers protein supplement. So I have a, I take serious mass, and then I'm actually to, now I'm gonna start taking this as a midday protein intake. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I don't know why I've been so excited for this, but I have been and I'm stoked that I have it. Okay, now let's get ready for dinner. So I don't know when I turned into a fitness channel, but I'm really eager to try this out. So I'm actually just gonna do this right now. And honestly, this kind of tastes like normal vanilla. That doesn't only taste like cereal milk. I give it a seven out of 10. Now it's Dustin's birthday, so we are going to surprise him for dinner. He is under the impression that him and his girlfriend Tiana are going to dinner at his favorite restaurant up in Oceanside, so we are all driving up there to surprise him. The sweatshirt's looking good! Welcome to the Three Wise Men. 
Cheers. It's a tough drink to down, dude. It's tough. It's his birthday! Let's go. Wait, what, what is this one? What is this, what is this water? <laughs> Apparently Dustin hasn't eaten anything all day, so he's just slamming drinks and is now trying to catch up with Are some bread. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, too manly for you, don't worry about it. Tonight's dinner was a huge success. It's always good when a surprise birthday works out. I've said it once and I'm probably gonna say it a million more times. I love these new designs. They have a sense of art to it. It's not just like a logo or whatever, it's like artwork. And I don't know, I'm really kind of into that right now. So expect that to follow over into the next following drops that have coming up. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day for you guys right now, but for me, it's tomorrow. So I'm not too sure yet what exactly the plans are or if I'm gonna spend the day just with Sabrina or I might split it up. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm gonna try to get another video up for you guys tomorrow because I've already taken two days off this week and I hate taking days off. You guys already know the story. Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully maybe see you tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward. And I'm feeling